Alligators are only found in the Americas and China. They do not live in Africa like their crocodilian cousins. Here, we try to understand why there are no alligators in Africa. Alligators are large reptiles that belong to the order Crocodilia. They are carnivores that start life eating small invertebrates such as insects, snails, and worms, as well as small vertebrates such as birds. As they grow, they feed on larger animals including small mammals, other reptiles, bigger fish, and deer. They occupy freshwater habitats such as lakes, ponds, marshes, and swamps. Today, there are two species of alligator. The American alligator lives in the southeastern states and parts of Mexico, with the biggest populations in Florida and Louisiana. Southern Florida is the only place where alligators and crocodiles live side by side. The other species of alligator is the Chinese alligator, which only lives in the Yangtze River and its surrounding tributaries. This is the most endangered crocodilian, and in 2015, it was estimated that there were less than 180 individuals left in the wild. Incredibly, alligators haven't changed much in appearance for millions of years. Whilst most of today's animals have extinct ancestors that looked hugely different, this is not true of alligators. In fact, if we took a walk in North America millions of years ago, we would see the same alligators we are familiar with today. The crocodilians have kept their morphological and ecological similarities for almost 100 million years. Their rate of genetic evolution has been much slower than that of mammals. This is largely because they live longer, and therefore the time between generations and the passing of genetic material is much longer than smaller animals, such as some mammals. When we think of alligators, we also think of crocodiles. They are similar in appearance, although alligators have a more U-shaped broader snout, a shorter head, and gray or darker coloring, and their lower teeth are not visible if their mouth is closed. Furthermore, whilst crocodiles can tolerate salt water due to a specialized gland in their mouths, alligators can only survive in fresh water. Crocodiles live throughout the globe. Today's 18 different species of crocodile are found in North, South, and Central America, Asia, Australia, and Africa. The two species of alligator are only native to the USA, Mexico, and China. Alligators do not live in Africa. So, why is this, especially when their cousins, the crocodiles, are so widely dispersed across the globe? To answer this, we need to look back at the evolutionary history of alligators. We can try to determine where they originated from and why they never settled in Africa in the same way that crocodiles did. Crocodilians is an order of reptiles that includes both crocodiles and alligators, as well as caimans and gharials. Both crocodilians and birds belong to the clade of archosaurs. This group included flying dinosaurs, pterosaurs, and other non-avian dinosaurs. During the Jurassic period, between 201 and 145 million years ago, dinosaurs dominated the land, whilst crocodilian ancestors dominated the water. These crocodilians consisted of a much more diverse group of animals than those found today. Some adapted to feed on insects, and others solely on fish. Some were adapted to take down large prey, and others were even herbivores, surviving by eating only plant matter. Looking back at the Triassic and Jurassic periods, the earliest crocodilians were the Protosuchians. These were relatively small reptiles that were less than a meter or three feet in length. Their fossils have been found in Europe, Asia, and South America. None have been found in Africa. Emerging from these and diversifying into many different forms were the Mesosuchians. These included some crocodilians with paddle-like feet for expert swimming, and some were adapted for eating shellfish. Their fossils have been predominantly found in South America and Europe, with one being found in Algeria, Africa. Following these unique animals were the Yusukians, which appeared in the late Cretaceous period about 80 million years ago. From these Yusukians, all modern-day crocodilians evolved. The crocodile and alligator lineages were thought to have split from one another and diverged about 80 million years ago. This was during the late Cretaceous period. 
And whilst the mass extinction event that wiped out the dinosaurs killed off 75% of the planet's flora and fauna, remarkably crocodiles and alligators survived. They were among the very few four-legged animals over 25 kilograms that survived, and they have remained largely unaltered, at least superficially, ever since. We know when the lineages of crocodiles and alligators split, but it's unclear where the huge range of crocodilians was living. It remains unclear why there are no alligators in Africa. The geographical data for these prehistoric beasts is very sparse. Fossils have been found all over the world. During the Jurassic and Triassic eras, when the very earliest crocodilians were emerging, Africa was still connected to South America. These two continents split some 140 million years ago. This likely meant the early crocodilians were present on both continents at the time of the split. By the end of the Mesozoic era, 66 million years ago, the three main branches of crocodilians had diverged. These were the Alligatoridae, which includes alligators and caimans, the Crocodilidae, which includes crocodiles, dwarf crocodiles, and false gharials, and the Gavialidae, which includes the gharial. Fossil evidence of common ancestors of alligators and crocodiles has been found across the globe. They were present in Europe, Africa, Asia, and the Americas. One of the earliest known ancestors of today's alligators was around 250 million years old. This creature was Brachycampsa montana. It was a carnivorous reptile about 8 to 10 feet long found in the United States and Canada. It had short teeth and an incredibly powerful bite. It is thought to have died out just before the mass extinction event 66 million years ago, but not before giving rise to the lineage that would lead to today's alligators. As already mentioned, the two extant species of alligator are the American alligator and the Chinese alligator. There is much debate in the scientific world regarding the evolutionary history of alligators and their relatives. As more data comes to light, particularly with the advances in molecular and DNA sequencing technologies, we will likely see a more complete conclusion of their evolution. Chinese alligators are thought to have evolved from their American relatives during the later tertiary period, which was between 66 and 2.6 million years ago. Due to their salt water intolerance, some scientists believe the alligators must have crossed into China using the land. Despite the unfavorable climatic conditions, they conclude that alligators would have used the Bering Land Bridge to make this journey. Most recent research, however, suggests that ancient forms of alligators could tolerate salt water, meaning they were able to disperse throughout the globe more easily without inhibition by these salt water barriers. Alligators and caiman then diverged from each other during the late Cretaceous. 100 to 66 million years ago, caiman spread southwards and dispersed across Central and South America. Although the geographical location of the earliest alligators is not completely determined, and therefore the reason why they do not live in Africa is not totally clear, scientists have now mapped the evolutionary tree of the Crocodilus genus. They have found that the American species of crocodile are the most closely related to Africa's Nile crocodile. Evidence suggests that the American crocodiles split from their African relatives 7 million years ago. This divergence occurred long after the African continent split from the Americas 130 million years ago. The conclusion the scientists came up with is that the crocodiles swam the Atlantic Ocean and found their new home in North, Central, and South America. Crocodiles can survive up to six months without eating. They can tolerate and thrive in salt water and females can store sperm for several months after mating. These characteristics suggest they could have made the Atlantic crossing and colonized the Americas after the long swim. It is understood that these crocodiles gave rise to the four New World species living in the Americas today. Morlet's crocodile, the Cuban crocodile, the Orinoco crocodile, and the American crocodile. Mapping the alligator's evolutionary history is not completely clear. Fossils of its prehistoric ancestors have been found across the globe, but they don't seem to have lived in Africa. Diversification of their ancient relatives happened before the breakup of the supercontinent Gondwana. Those that dispersed and spread into North America diversified and evolved into the alligators and caimans that live there today. Alligators could likely survive in Africa as their cousins. The crocodiles thrive there, 
There are plenty of habitats that they could call home, and a diverse range of climates across the continent, some of which would be suitable for them. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. time.